hi guys uh, welcome back to my video so in this video i'll be showing you how you could set up fast ssl in nginx web server in ubuntu so using fast ssl you can make your site secure on top of it it is one of the cheapest ssl provider at the moment that i know of so once you have purchased your ssl certificate from any website there are a few things that you will need to understand first thing is you will need a csr to request any certificate so um, i've used this website to generate the certificate um, csr certificate then it will generate two things one the first one is the csr the second one is a private key all right so just make sure you note it down somewhere so all right so these are two things that you will need so for now you will need this and once you are in website something like this where you will need to reissue the certificate then it will ask you to set up the csr then once the verification of your website is done that's very easy and straightforward you can simply click download certificate then it will download a new certificate so now if I go to downloads here uh, and I try to and put it let's say fast SSL uh, object the one and there it is fast SSL okay so if you go to search uh, there are a bunch of scripts that you have so for nginx there is one more command that you will need to know so what you need to do is you just need to use your website certificate and my CA bundle then get it into circuit bundle.crt okay so we got everything that we need now one thing we need is the private key that key that we got while we generated the csr okay now i will just copy the private key and paste it here now initial setup is done so let's make uh, one more folder like final files so remember we'll need few things so so first thing is private key and certificate bundle now these are two things that you will need i will paste it in here okay just remember certificate bundle is nothing but the combination of two files you can pause the video and watch it now while it's in process so what i'll do is i will try to log into the machine that i have set up let me go here and let me grab the public ip and first thing that i would do is if you are using dns or route 53 just go there and change the a record and point it to the correct one okay so once you have it try reaching it out it will have nothing we don't have any web server that's been set up there so what we'll do is go to my console first thing i'll do is this is it I mean, so it's not the best. Update. Then I'll just go in the next. Then I will enable the next. Reload or restart the next. Okay. So if you go touch online. Okay, looks like we got a default page as expected. Okay, now next thing that we need to do is we need to create a on file. So for that one, you will need to create a folder. So this is the command that I'll be hitting. So I'll be creating a install SSL.online folder inside var www. Okay, that it's been created. Now another thing we'll need is a conf file. 
okay and there are a few things that you will need so you can pause the video and watch it so this is the same path that we initially created and this is our domain name now now let me go to fair install HTML and let me create a desktop file. So let's do this. Which one? First, first two. Okay. And um, so we got that created. Now, the thing that we need to do is we need to point this conf. Same conf that we had two sites enabled. So we'll give this command. Now we need to restart the Nginx. Uh, Nginx. I will give get a basic uh, html css site somewhere in from the internet so i already got the url for that one so what i'll do is um, uh, let me go here temp everything from uh, bootstrap template so i copy everything from bootstrap everything r into where into uh fire install HTML. okay so um, if i go here all these index files now if i restart it's like site is up and running this is running on port 80 so if i do https this should fail why because we don't have anything set up for 443 so to overcome that one let us come here and let, let us create a folder as well. So I'll make directory and copy that thing. Okay, so we got SSL.html and let's also create SSL search. Okay, so I will need to somehow copy these files. So I'll do SCP iPhone I search. Now what I did, I okay, everything from here into uh oh, sorry, we're using Ubuntu. You will be UNT as well as well as well as well and it's gonna be in home. Ubuntu, alright? Okay, looks like it's been copied. Now I'll copy this folder pathways. So I'll go to into okay, and now we got the files copied here. So what I'll do now is copy all of them and paste it in here. Now I got these files here. So the initial part is done. Now let me go to uh file that we initially created template that you can pause it and take it so there are a few changes that we'll need to make first thing is this path and next thing is the private key so just to make things clear I will just see if I can access this content okay looks like we are good and what else uh, okay uh, let me get to ssl dash html okay so we need to point one more thing that's the the server name our root directory gonna be ssl dash html okay now if i restart looks like it's good and if I reload this page, uh, we got thing, but the site is not working. So to work on that one, what I will do is uh, HTML and okay. So there is one more HTML inside it. So and HTML. Okay, so as you can see now we got the site working and it's been secure. Now if you want to verify it, I can come here, okay the curl, I install this one by online, Nginx 1.8. Now if I want to check for 3 okay, so it's using Nginx and it's active as well and we got uh, HTML return code as 200. So yeah, this is the quick way to install the, um, um, fast uh, SSL into any website. 
so hopefully this video helped you to understand how that thing works hopefully it helped you and if you got any questions feel free to comment i will be definitely answering all your queries that's all for now see you in next video